I'm Lisa. I've been married for nine years to my wonderful husband, Dave. Our family already includes an energetic four-year-old daughter, Allison, and a darling five-year-old chocolate lamb named Stella. Dave and I want to have another child, but I'm really feeling nervous because I had a miscarriage last year. But this year, I know my life is going to change and I couldn't be more excited. I'm thankful that I have been feeling really good. We are so excited to have our ultrasound today to see the baby, make sure everything is going well, and to find out the baby's gender. We didn't find out with Allison, so we decided that we would this time. We will be busy this summer preparing for the baby's arrival, so knowing the sex will take the guesswork out of buying new bedding, clothing, and choosing things like a new infant car seat and stroller. Today Lisa's here for anatomy ultrasound. This is an exciting time for women and usually is done between 18 and 20 weeks. We measure the baby's development and make sure the pregnancy is progressing well. During the ultrasound, we look closely at many parts of the anatomy, including the heart, brain, and kidneys. Many measurements are taken during this time to ensure the proper growth of the baby. Many women are very excited to know whether they're having a boy or girl at this time, and if the baby's cooperating, we'll get a good picture and determine the baby's gender. I am due to see the dentist and I am wondering if it is safe to have my teeth cleaned during pregnancy. Many women ask me about dental care and whether it's safe to have x-rays and have their teeth cleaned. The answer is definitely yes. It's safe to see your dentist. In fact, there's many studies that have linked gum disease or periodontal disease to low birth weight, preterm births, and possible preeclampsia. It's important to let your dentist know that you're pregnant and during x-rays make sure you're shielded by a lead apron. The other question I have today for Dr. Genord is about my part two sequential screen results. My blood was drawn a few weeks ago and he said that the results would be back today. She had another episode of great news. Her age related risk is 1 in 300 but after her test she has a 1 in 7,800 risk of having a baby with Down syndrome. These numbers are very reassuring for Lisa. I have been having some sciatic pain. I had trouble with it when I was pregnant with Allison, so I wanted to ask Dr. Genord what he recommends. Many women experience sciatic pain during pregnancy. It leads to pain down the back of her thigh, the lower part of her legs, and the sole of her foot. It can cause both sensory and motor problems throughout her pregnancy. I'm going to send Lisa to a physical medicine and rehab doctor who can help Lisa with this condition during her pregnancy. Often simple exercises, massage, can also help with these symptoms in the early stages. Hi honey, it's me. I know you're in a meeting right now, so I just quickly wanted to tell you that I just left Dr. Genord's office. Everything is perfect and I've got great news. Can't wait to hear from you. Do you have a Beaumont doctor?